Though Benavides is undefeated in the ring, today marks the second time the Mexican fighter is actually stripped from his WBC strap, this time for missing weight for his fight tomorrow against Alexis Angulo. Now, Benavides came in at 170 pounds, or a little over 170 pounds, if I'm not mistaken, which caused the WBC to strip him of the belt and him not being able to get it back even if he were to win tomorrow. Now, if you remember the first time the WBC stripped Benavides, it was because of cocaine use, which a lot of his fans would argue don't en don't enhance his uh, performance up inside the ring. So they could have argued that, hey, you know, let a man do whatever he's going to do recreationally, though I'm pretty sure the WBC had a reason to do it anyway. Now, this time it's more of a serious matter with missing the weight, which left his fans very, very disappointed and left his competitors or possible competitors bashing him online. I'm talking about Caleb Plant. Now, Caleb Plant took no time to go ahead and kick Benavides while he's down and post their, like degrading stuff for him on Twitter and on Instagram. Now, I'm going to show you um, the, the actual video that he posted uh because it took to twitter to say some stuff the same caption that he posted on his uh instagram's video and he actually just posted himself crying a whole tear is shed y'all <laughs> now along with the video very short video by the way but you know with a lot of emotion the caption reads i thought a fat boy who keeps losing his belt but can't get that bitch back said some." And of course, the comment section is riddled with people poking fun at Benavides while also being sad that the fight is probably not going to happen now that Benavides doesn't have a belt or, you know, until he gets it back. Now, of course, uh, <laughs> people are having a field day with this while also uh, feeling for Benavides, who also took to Instagram himself, but to post an apology to his fans. Um, the caption reads, I just want to apologize to all my fans I have let down. Out of eight years, I have been pro. This is my first time missing weight. Very disappointed in myself, but I still have a job to do tomorrow, and that is to win the fight, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now, people in his comments are a little bit more, um, you know, nice about it. They do feel like uh, he has... His fan support, regardless, um, while some people, you know, are straight up talking schmack as per usual, as boxing fans do. Now, a lot of people feel like this is the last time the WBC has let Benavides have a chance should he just become, you know, mandatory again. And other people do feel like he's just going to become mandatory, that even though he lost the belt, he's going to go right back to just being number one for a vacant title. That same vacant title that he just got stripped of. Should he rise victorious tomorrow, he'll probably fight somebody else for another contender for that same belt. And then this time be third, uh, three time world champion, which even though it sounds impressive, given the fact of how he lost the belts to begin with, it kind of loses a little bit of its spark when saying three time world champion, because you got stripped because you are, you know, undisciplined basically. And this might be because of COVID because like he said himself, he didn't have access to a sauna and that led him to not be able to shed the pounds as comfortably as he usually does. So this is his first offense of not making the weight. Oh, that's why a lot of his fans are being more reasonable, saying shit like this happens while others are still bashing him, making memes about it as boxing twitter does and people are just having a field day right now what do you think do you think that ben Abides is you know goofing and he's you know reflects on who he is as a fighter do you think this is just a, a mess up and he can just get that wbc title right back do you think his people are gonna even fight him now do you think caleb plant caleb smith are going to give him a shot now that he doesn't have a title you know, what do you guys think? Let me know what you think in the comments, because this is a really interesting situation, given the fact that he is undefeated and he is one badass dude. You know, he is one badass dude. So let's see what happens with Benavides again. Go ahead and let me know in the comments section what you think. And if you forget Benavides, are you still team Bandera Roja? Go ahead and comment some Bandera Roja emojis. Or if you think he goofing and he should probably move up and wait, go ahead and let me know as well. Tomorrow, guys, the fight is on 
PBC on Showtime starting at 9 p.m. Eastern and 6 p.m. Pacific time. Okay, so on Showtime tomorrow, fight still on. Letia Benavides does with this now in the back of his head that that belt will not be returning to his hands. Let me know.